Figures within the DPP moved to intervene in a labour dispute surrounding the country's railways as rail employees protested today against their manager's heavy-handed response to a walkout staged over the Lunar New Year holiday. Over 370 employees were punished or dismissed from their jobs after taking legal leave in protest over long shifts and an ongoing personnel shortage. DPP legislator Lin Daihua held a press conference at which she expressed her support for what she called the legal actions of TRA employees. Lin went on to call upon railways administrators to retract their sanctions. We, the ruling DPP, which stands together with the nation's workers, absolutely cannot brook the Taiwan Railways Administration's neglect of the welfare of its employees. We at the TRA issued some necessary punishments. Our position is that we will accept the gradual improvement of working conditions, but will not accept a malicious walkout and its effects on transportation over the Lunar New Year. The Transportation Ministry has deemed the action of those railways employees a malicious walkout, but newly appointed Labor Minister Lin Meiju called for a rapprochement between the two sides. I urge the Transportation Ministry to take all the appropriate steps to resolve the situation. In the process of resolving it, I hope we can retain a sense of empathy. The cabinet has already made a commitment to increase staffing levels in response to the TRA's personnel shortfall. With Taiwan Railways still looking to fill more than 300 posts, the government has stepped in to mediate the dispute in order to avoid further deterioration in relations between railway management and employees.